There we go. Matthew Moore. I've got you listed as Matthew Moore, self uh, against the bill. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. Thanks. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and committee members. My name is Dr. Matthew Moore, and I'm representing myself as one of the only chemists in the world to have produced FDA-approved THC. We pull that microphone a little closer? Thanks. I received my PhD in chemistry at the University of Texas and have spent nearly a decade working in the pharmaceutical industry producing Schedule One compounds like THC for clinical research and pharmaceutical distribution. I provide manufacturing and regulatory consulting services to companies spanning pharmaceuticals, licensed marijuana, and hemp. I help companies meet the standards from other industries that don't yet exist in the regulatory form for our state's hemp industry. Cannabinoids as a drug class have been shown to be exceptionally safe. In general, they are better tolerated in higher doses than caffeine, niacin, or vanilla flavoring, all of which are produced by way of chemical conversion to meet the demands of the American market. I do not wish to downplay any individual adverse events. However, the statistical findings accepted by regulatory bodies around the world are that these compounds are safe for human consumption. There are molecules that can be found naturally in the cannabis plant, and there are also cannabinoids that are entirely synthetic and nowhere in nature. Previous legislation has mistakenly fo focused on the semantics of converse, converted versus purified extract when the focus should be on purity standards. The primary concern with cannabinoid safety is identifying and eliminating the contaminants of concern produced by a given production process, including all the pesticides, heavy metals, and mycotoxins pulled into the biomass from the fields and anything that material contacts during the manufacturing. It is also critical to test for chemical byproducts of the production processes that happen naturally in refinement or as a result of any chemical conversions. Testing for these compounds and their, and their contaminants is routinely performed at many accredited labs across the country, often on the same day. However, testing is not free, and if this testing is not required, it is unlikely to be performed. Alcohol is not banned for increasing liver values or causing psychosis or affecting thousands of tra traffic fatalities. Tobacco is not banned for causing reproductive harms, and peanuts are not banned for killing people. I hope this committee sees the value in regulating these highly important and valuable compounds to the standards that already exist in the dietary ingredients and pharmaceutical industries. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.